Welcome. So second program is create and rotate a triangle about the origin and fixed point. So here we have to create one triangle and rotate that triangle using the theta value by that is the origin and a fixed point. Okay. So consider that is the triangle we should draw. So it consisting of the three points. So we are, we are going to take that is a GL float house. Okay. Which is the class K matrix. So here we have to specify that is a vertices for the triangle. So first what is is that is a 100 comma 150 200 x y and z okay so similarly the second word text 100 150 100 third text is 1 1 and 1 so here what is that is we are going to pass the values as the float so next we consider there is a rotation matrix so here that is we have to use the rotation matrix in order to rotate the particular triangle so initial values are zeros so next result matrix we are taking that is of the size three plus three when multiplying the result rotation matrix with the house, the result is stored in the result matrix. So take two variables h and k and theta and radians. <coughs> so comes to there is a main function. Okay. So first we have to read the rotation angle. Enter the rotation angle. So read the theta value. Okay. Next read the choice. Enter the choice. One for fixed point rotation and two for rotation over the origin. So read the that is a choice value. So next convert the theta into the radians. So theta is multiplied by pi by 180. That is 3.14 divided by 180, which will convert the theta into the radians. So next is initialize function. If you pass any parameters in the command line arguments, it will that is set it parameters to the glut. <coughs> so next glut in it display mode. So that is glut single indicates we make use of a single buffer and the color component is RGB. So it makes use of the single buffer for each component that is RG and B. Glut, we need window size that is the 500 and 500. This is the width and this is the height. So glut, init window position 0 comma 0. So this is the top left corner on the screen. Glut, create window that is we are going to pass that is a title as house rotation which will display on title bar of the window. <coughs> So next, glut display function, that is we are going to call, that is a display, where we are going to perform the graphical operations. So next is the my init. So in my init function, so that is we are going to clear the bit, that is a background color, GL clear color, that is 1, 1, 1, 1, that is R, G, B, alpha. So here all, all our values are 1. So whenever we want to specify the color value in OpenGL, it should be in the range from 0 to 1. So here all the values are 1, 1, 1 indicating this is a white color. So next color GL color 3F. Okay, that is R is 1, green is 0, blue is 0. That is it is in the red color. Next we are going to specify the point size is 1. <coughs> next GL matrix mode that is we should use GL projection. We have to draw the triangle onto the screen. So next is load identity matrix that is it is going to load the identity matrix. So next there is a glue ortho 2D. Okay. So that is X position in the beginning X position is 0 and the width is 499 and beginning Y position is 0 and height is 499. <coughs> okay. So that is we are going to call display function that is the display. So come to the display function. Okay. So in display function GL clear that is GL color buffer bit so here we make use of gl clear color okay so that is so passing the value as white so it is going to set the background color with that is a white so next assign theta with radiance set the color okay that is r is one green is one blue is zero so it's combination of red and green okay so next we are going to call that's a draw house okay so in the house function okay so first we have to draw the triangle then we have to rotate so in draw house that is parameter is there's a matrix okay gl begin gl triangles so in order to draw the triangle we should specify gl triangles so that is the vertices we should specify for the triangle gl vertex 2f that is we are passing two floating back floating values that is mat of 0 0 comma mat of 1 comma 0 so just consider that is a matrix Okay, house that is 0, 0, 0, okay, 0, 1, 0, 2. So here first thing that is a 0, 0, 0. First value is 100, so second value is 150. So similarly we are going to set. 
okay vertex 2f matrix there is a second vertex x o x value and the y value similarly the third vertex gl vertex 2f 0 comma 2 comma mat there is a 1 comma 1 okay so this will create one triangle okay <coughs> so next okay come back to that is a draw house we here we are going to call the draw house function so after coming back so next we are going to check if that is ch equals 1 if choice is 1 what is choice 1 choice 1 is fixed point so here we are going to take the value that is the 100 comma 100 h equals 100 k equals 100 so over which we are going to rotate the particular triangle so next we are going to call that is a rotate function okay <coughs> in rotate function okay so take the value so this is a composite function we are going to specify that is first is that is a cos theta minus sin theta okay next is the x value so next is sin theta cos theta ty value so here we have first we have to that is rotate the triangle over the point 100 comma 100 first it should be moved to the origin okay then we are going to perform the rotation next we are going to move back the particular origin to the particular point 100 comma 100 so this is given by that is a translation okay so we have to calculate m value minus h into cos theta minus 1 plus k into sin theta okay so similarly n value n equals minus k into cos theta minus 1 minus h into sin theta this is for that is a translation that is we have to transfer from 100 comma 100 to origin and after rotating we should pass the object to 100 comma 100 okay so here we are going to initialize the rotation matrix rotation matrix 0 comma 0 is that is a cos theta okay that is first row first column is cos theta next rotation matrix 0 1 equals that is minus sin theta that is zero uh, row first column so next is zero row that is second column is initialized with the value m so next is second row okay first value is sin theta okay second column is cos theta and the third column is that is the value with what we are going to calculate so next it is a click class matrix so this identity matrix so just consider 0 0 1 for that is a last row okay so next we are going to call that is a multiply so here we have to multiply the rotation matrix with that is a house okay so here that is a multiply so for i equals 0 to 3 because it is click class matrix j equals 0 to 3 okay result initially store that is result equals 0 i i and j is 0 so next take intermediate value for l equals 0 l is less than 3 l plus plus result of i j equals result of i j plus rotation matrix of i l star house of l j that is rotation matrix is multiplied with house and the value is stored in the result okay after that <coughs> okay so here it will come back to that is a rotation matrix so rotation matrix where we call this function okay so here we call the rotate okay if choice is equals one next we are going to set the color color 3f that is red color okay coming out of the loop again we are going to call that is the draw house okay same that is the triangle what is the result that is we are passing the result matrix and it will display the result using that is a draw house okay similarly that is the that is a choice 2 choice 2 is that is we have to rotate over the origin so here we are going to take okay mean value that is 100 150 and 200 that is takes 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 okay take divided by 3 initialize the value to h similarly say take the second value 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 okay and divide by 3 so which is assigned to the k value so using these two values we are going to call that is a rotate again the rotate function initialize the rotation matrix call multiply multiplied and result is stored in the result matrix okay finally that is the draw house here it will display the result triangle thank you